Your sandbox is almost ready to go. One last remaining step is the calibration. Let's get to it. We provide our own calibration software, which makes the process really simple. Yet some steps have to be taken before even starting the calibration itself. The outcome of the process depends heavily on surrounding conditions, especially the lighting. It should be constant, evenly distributed and very slightly dimmed, soft daylight-like. Make sure there are no flashing lights nearby, such as TV screens or faulty light bulbs. Also cover the windows in case weather conditions could affect lighting in the room. The areas right next to the sandbox have to be non-reflective. Avoid things such as oil painted walls or tile floors. If necessary, cover them with white paper sheets. To correctly gather calibration data, sensor needs smooth, flat and preferably white surfaces. My suggestion is to use cardboard boxes of three different sizes. They should be arranged so that the edges of the same length contact each other and only the height varies. Set the boxes up using Scheme from our page, link is in the description. When the boxes are ready, go to the calibration folder and run the auto calibration start programs app as administrator. After doing this, wait about 30 seconds. Then run the auto calibration calibration app. Now wait about 2 minutes while the calibration is being done. You should see horizontal and vertical stripes on your screen. They imply the process is going well. After it finishes, you will see a notification saying calibration is saved. Copy the calib file from the calibration folder to Kinect Sandbox data streaming assets in the application folder and replace the previous file. It is now time to run the Kinect Sandbox software. Leave the boxes in the sandpit for now, as they will help you decide whether the calibration results are satisfying. You should see the boxes colored differently and the edges of the projection shifted no more than approximately 1 cm from the physical edges of your boxes. If the displacement is bigger, the calibration must have gone wrong. It can happen if the projector is too bright. Decrease brightness of your projector and try brightening the room a little bit, then rerun the calibration software. Usually one more try is all it takes. There is also manual calibration mode. You will find link to the instruction in the video description. Your sandbox is now ready. Enjoy it! However, if you want to make some interesting upgrades, check out the last part of the tutorial.